Blossom hasn't seen her dear friend Jimmy in a while. He's been mysteriously absent. Anyway, I'm back now, right? That's all I need to hear, Jimbo. No further questions. What's your name again? It's Blossom, Jimmy. The only fucking person named Blossom. Jimmy got a gun. Say hello to my very little friend. He brought it to scare someone. Mission accomplished. Blossom's about to shit in her Oshkosh bagash. Jimmy tells her to keep things quiet. Six got detention. A kid tagged a teacher's desk, and when nobody ratted, the whole class got in trouble. Blossom leaps at the chance to complain about this awful no-snitch culture. Six explains, people don't tattle because they're afraid. Fear of kids on dope, fear of gangs, fear of getting beat up. Only two of those are scary, you numerically named Narc. Blossom sings about Jimmy's heater, then swears Six to secrecy, because these gals have such a strong track record in that department thus far. It wasn't just like a, a toy or a bar of soap or something, was it? Yeah, Blossom, was that gun a bar of soap? Blossom has the anonymous betrayal hotline memorized. That way you don't have to worry about getting shot on your way to biology. Unless, of course, he figures it out and gets another gun. In which case, our whole class gets off half a day early for your funeral. Wow. Half days every time there's a shooting? The 90s were luxurious. Blossom will feel guilty if G.I. Jimmy's expelled, but not as guilty as she'd feel if Jimmy expels a cap in someone's ass behind the library. Blossom is rehearse snitching, workshopping voices, making a real meal out of it. But does she really want to piss off a guy with a gun? Sure, why not? Vinny says Blossom did the right thing. Debatable. And she has nothing to worry about. A goddamn lie. Because when the fuzz comes knocking, they don't find that blicky. Jimmy is a free man. A free man with a weapon who knows Blossom dropped dime. You'll get yours, kid. I promise. He still doesn't know her name. That should make her easier to murder. Meanwhile, Joey's watching TV. Ding dong. This clown needs directions to Blueberry Lane and asks to come inside. You're not gonna steal anything, are you? Well, that depends. Do you have any midget firemen? Joey, you can't afford to not let this guy inside this instant. Joey knows him. He's Frosty. He did Joey's sixth birthday. Speaking of birthdays, Frosty is late for some kid's party. Joey points him that direction, but a slurring Frosty is disoriented. Are you a little drunk? I was a little drunk this morning. Now I'm big time drunk. Frosty still got it. Joey volunteers to drive this hammered costume jokester to a house full of children. I hope one of these is the car. No, they're all keys. Still got it. Blossom tells her dad about the situation. Daddy wants to run it up the old suburban snitch ladder to the police. Blossom defends Jimmy, a job his pistol already has more than covered. Joey's driving Frosty in the sad van he probably lives in while he sips hooch from a giant bottle. Frosty wants to pull over to the side of the canyon to take a leak. Ah! No! Frosty! Frosty's fine. He just wanted to behold the City of Angels and scream piss all over it. The La La Land we deserve. Joey was worried this alcoholic clown offed himself. You know, with the yelling and sad drinking and whatnot. Frosty's thought about it. He's thought about it a lot. His brain is like a tiny car, and thoughts of suicide just keep jumping out. Joey offers to get Frosty some help. Tony tells Blossom how much he loves AA. He always sees some pathetic loser, and it makes him feel great about his shitty life by comparison. Then today's your lucky day, Tony. Joey introduces the gang to Frosty, the alcoholic suicidal clown. Joey wants Tony to bring him to a meeting. Tony's reluctant. I mean, it's already anonymous. You don't exactly need full face makeup. Don't worry, you'll be just as funny sober. But you folks won't be. Say goodnight, Frosty. Good night, Frosty. Still got it. God damn, this clown's good. Blossom bumps into Vinny, who tells her the good news. She's safe. Jimmy had an accident with his gun last night. Let's just say five out of five dentists do not recommend using one as a toothbrush. And we never see Frosty again. He probably fucking killed himself. So what did we learn today? Piss off gun owners at your own risk because they might kill you. And just because you're an alcoholic suicidal disaster doesn't mean you can't still be hilarious. And life is often overwhelming. But you'll get through it if you accept help and if your enemies blow their own brains out. See you next time on a very special episode. <laughs>